I'm Lonnie Johnson. I'm an inventor. Uh, the invention that most people know me for is the Super Soaker water gun. I knew the gun worked well and I knew it would be successful. I did not realize how successful it would be. Uh, it became the number one selling toy in the world. My career started actually when I was in high school. I built a robot uh, that won a um, regional science fair at the University of Alabama. I went on to um, work at Oak Ridge National Laboratory as a research engineer on high temperature nuclear reactors, uh, Air Force Weapons Laboratory on advanced spacecraft that use nuclear power sources, then to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory um, working on the um, Galileo spacecraft as the power systems engineer. When I was uh, at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory back in the early 80s is when I first got the idea. The Super Soaker was based on some, some engineering principles that I applied. I was actually working on another invention, which was a heat pump that would use water as a working fluid instead of Freon. And I shot the stream of water across the bathroom using some nozzles that I had made, and I thought to myself, geez, if I were to develop a new type of water gun that was a high-performance water gun, it could really do well. That's not pressure, this is pressure! Initially, I wanted to manufacture the gun myself, but when I went to a plastics injection molding manufacturing company and talked to them about the parts that I needed and what I needed to have made. It turned out it was going to cost about $200,000 to get the first thousand guns produced. And I thought to myself, I was an officer in the military at the time. I didn't have $200,000 in cash laying around. I decided to come to New York, present um, my uh, ideas at Toy Fair, try to find a manufacturer that I could work with. And it was there that I met the people at Laramie. They invited me to come to their headquarters in Philadelphia. It took about two weeks to build the gun, and as soon as it was finished, I called the guy up at Laramie because I didn't want him to forget my conversation. I got my suitcase and went in, and of course I had my prototypes in the suitcase. I opened it up, and they asked to see what I had, and I uh, showed them the gun. They said, uh, well, does it work? How well does it work? So I pumped it up and shot it across the conference room. The president of the company said, wow, you know, and that was it. I knew I captured their imagination, and the rest is history. Actually, the first year it was called Drencher. It was not called a Super Soaker. Someone claimed the name of Drencher and wanted us to pay royalties on that, and so we changed the name. That's when we came up with the name of Super Soaker. The, the guns were literally blowing off the shelves by word of mouth. We couldn't keep up with uh, demand. People would say, you know, Johnson, you're really lucky. And I saw it as just a lot of hard work. Uh, it took uh, 10 years from the idea to you know, major success. And I started my own business and built uh, my company, my research company, with the uh, proceeds from that invention. I don't really talk about how much money that I've, I, I've made from the invention, but I think it is fair to say that just about all of it is going into the research that I'm, co I'm conducting. So it's going back into the company to develop some of the um, energy technology that I'm focused on. Uh, I am a nuclear engineer. I'm working on uh, advanced energy technology. I have a new type of engine that converts heat into electricity, and I've also developed a new type of battery that's all ceramic without liquid electrolyte. The other toy gun that was on the market and enjoying major success was these Nerf dart guns. It's Nerf or nothing. And I wanted to have that part of the market too, so I started developing Nerf dart guns and I've developed guns that outperformed uh, the guns that Hasbro had on the market at the time. And eventually ended up doing a deal with Hasbro to license um, my dart guns. And at that point, um, I literally was the king of all toy guns. <laughs>